Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back, we are back. It's good to be back. We got a good one for you, Tim. We're going to try to keep this short and simple. It's already uh, 1230 uh, where I am, past midnight uh, in Texas. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make this quick. Uh, Michelle Rivera, Hugo Roldano, uh, in what should be a fun, interesting matchup. Uh, before we get rolled on, uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, we make money doing this every single week. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. It's just five dollars a month. It gets you all the perks. It gets you lock of the week. It gets you all the benefits. It gets you the up to date props. Like the props on this have haven't dropped yet. I suspect they'll drop tomorrow. When they do, hop over to Patreon. We'll show you how to double up, make money on the props as well. It gets you ask the bookie anything. It, it, you can request a fight. You get the absolute best gambling advice out there. Uh, for just five dollars a month, that's a steal. You'll make way more than that. You're losing money if you don't do it. All right, Michelle Rivera. Uh, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Straight up and down, <clears throat> likes the box. He's very, very good at the long range. That that's his comfort zone. Rivera is really good at the long range. He's not the fastest guy, but he's got a high IQ. He knows how to put his punches together. He's got decent snap on his punches. He looks so bad in the Frank Martin fight. And I don't really know. You know, Frank Martin was, was a lot faster than him. You know, maybe that had something to do with it. But he just looks so bad. It was a career worst performance by a mile. He had never remotely looked that bad. I thought going into that fight, it was a 50-50-ish kind of fight. He was 24-0, I believe, at the time. He had wins over Joseph Adorno, John Fernandez, Ladarius Miller. He had decent wins, wide wins, where he beat people up. Uh, he had beaten a, a, in 2019. He had beaten a uh, undefeated Rene Tellez Giran. So he he had put together wins, and he had looked really really impressive. Now this was a step up for both of them, for sure. And Frank Martin annihilated him. Now he's come back and he's beaten Sergey Lipinets, who was all, coming off the win against Brandon Figueroa, and he looked. Good. I mean, yeah, uh, Omar Figueroa. I'm sorry. He come back the win against Omar Figueroa, destroyed him, and he has uh, gone on since. He's beaten Robbie Davies. So uh, he, this is a guy that can fight, right? And, and Rivera dominated him, beat him wide, I thought. And that's a good kind of step, you know. Well done, I believe that's actually a setup backwards. So if you if you beat Lipinets stylistically, this shouldn't be much of a of a difficult test. Not that it's easy, but he should be another level. Nice snappy jab. Yeah, the Frank Martin fight is still so stuck in everyone's head. And like I get it, it's boxing, it's not baseball. You don't get six hundred plate appearances a year. The sample size is much smaller, so one bad outing really sticks in people's minds. But kind of try to forget it and look at his total body of work. He uses the ring. Good movement. In, out, sideways, slip shots. He can avoid. He's really good at avoiding shots, uh, especially early on. He does seem to fatigue a little bit. But I, I like the way that he, he uses the ring. He's not a super high-volume guy, but he's a selective sharpshooter. What he does throw, he lands, and he lands at accuracy specifically from the outside. Like I said, he's good, clean shots, good combinations, uses the range, doesn't let you in. If you're super fast, you can get inside on him like Frank Martin did. That's not rolled on. Um, he does get stationary at times. He's, he's too straight up and down sometimes, sometimes, like I said. And these are things you're going to see when he starts to fade. I want to see him stay a little busier. He, when he's throwing the combinations, he's doing good. He's keeping you off. When you're getting inside, it's probably because he stopped firing. And I, I don't want to see that. I want to see him keep throwing in combinations. I want to see him use that jab. I want to see him use his reflexes and, and circle out and move out and then fire off a combination. There's a lot I want to see him do, and he can do it. Like I said, high ring IQ guy. You know, 
decent speed. He's really not a speedster. People overrate his speed. They think he's something that he's not. He's not a super elusive guy. That's not what he is. He's more in front of you, and he can make you miss in front of him, and he can counter you, and he can lead, and he can throw combinations off the jab. But he's really not a guy that's going to that's gonna come first. But he's accurate shots, good long-range fighter who can make you miss. If you get on the inside, you can kind of have him. You go Rodon. Uh, Southpaw, he's a bit jittery, a little unconventional, straight in, straight out, but keeps the punches coming. He's going to try to steal this thing on volume because he's not a puncher. He gets ag- aggressive, but swing big, miss big. And his swing bigs, don't they don't have the power that you would hope for. So I, I think this is a guy that Rivera can counter to death. He can out- jab him. He can outwork him. I mean, he can out-jab him. He outbox him, what I'm trying to say. He can outbox him from long range. When Roldan does pick up the pace, I think you just stay patient and just counter him to death. Just counter him to death. But Rivera's a good counter puncher. He, Roldan gets sloppy. He's aggressive and he's a committed offensive fighter. He just doesn't have a lot of punch. And I'm not saying you can just walk right through him, but it's not something that you really have to stay on guard against. Roldan's got pretty quick feet. He's a little bit, like I said, Rivera's not quite as good an athlete as you would think he is. Roldan's a little bit better athlete. Uh, But he's still kind of raw and unpolished. He walks straight in. He drops his hands. He's easy to counter. And I think ultimately Rivera, in what should be a fairly fun fight, ultimately Rivera just kind of outboxes him and outclasses him and and dominates, you know, I I would say dominates most of the rounds. Not that Rodan won't have any moments. I I do think he'll have some moments. I just think he's going to lose the majority of the rounds. Um while he's trying to chase him down and swinging that air and, and, and as such is kind of how I see this. Now we don't, I, I like Rivera by points. We don't have the over, we don't have any of those props, but we do have is something terrific that you can add to your Paul a, which is Rivera on the money line. Uh, join it. Like I said, join the Patreon link is in the description. We can take a look at this tomorrow. I like Rivera on points. I think that's a great bet. I think that's a safe bet. I think Rivera, by decision, I like the over. Anything like that, I, I really like that. So I would put a bet on that. Rivera, the over. Rivera by decision, anything like that. But for here, all we have is the money line. Uh, and this is a great bet to add to your parlay. A $100 bet makes you only $15. But if you add it to your parlay, you add it to other bets, it can really, really bring the odds down. This is a, a nice-looking bet. It's a nice-looking parlay. You can add this to Joe Joyce. We can add this to Noakes. We can add this to other fights. We can add this by a... Brandon Lee stoppage, right? There's things that we can add this to. Clarissa Shields. And we can just start playing with the odds. We can start bringing odds down into something, you know, three-leg parlay, which makes a lot of sense. And, and that's what I like here. I like Rivera to outbox him, outclass him. He, you know, Roldan's going to – he's going to make it a fight, but ultimately he's just not skilled enough to win enough rounds with Rivera, and he doesn't have the power to knock him out. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Book, it comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house. There's always, always a bull market somewhere. Uh, it is July 25th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.